Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Patience, humility, charity, temperance, chastity, diligence, and kindness. These are the seven heavenly virtues, and while we've already covered seven gacha games that uphold these qualities, I believe there are seven more that also embody these virtues. So let's look at the seven heavenly virtues as more gacha games, starting with patience. Patience is defined as the capability to wait and tolerate delay without frustration. It's being content with blowing a bit of time. Guardian Tales is a gacha game with a straightforward plot. Protect your kingdom. Now is Guardian Tales patience because the game itself is somehow patient or is Guardian Tales patience because that's exactly what they preach? Are you patient because you're Guardian Tales or are you Guardian Tales because you're patient? Well it's the former. Guardian Tales features no sob story revolving around its creation or release. But the reason it embodies patience is because that's what it encourages for its player base. See Guardian Tales is infamously known as one of the more grindy gotchas out there when it comes to endgame. But is that really a bad thing? The game features a ton of grind that's necessary for more devoted players, and its stages are more than just bandit beating. There's puzzles, events, and other things of the like. Now, while it's fair to say that this isn't particularly noob friendly, you can't say that it's not directly aimed at those with a patient being. They say you are what you consume, and to have a player base made of patient people means that the game they're consuming themselves is also patient. Do the mental gymnastics yourself, this isn't that hard to understand. Humility is regarded as a modest opinion of yourself. It's fair just it's lack of egocentrism, and it's a lack of boasting. Limbus Company is a <gasps> Limbus Company sleeper agents activated. Limbus Company is a turn-based psychological horror RPG that revolves around a group of sinners. Now, Limbus Company is a game that you may have never even heard of, and that's a massive reason why it's actually in the humility position. But putting that aside, temporarily, Limbus Company is a game that's created by Project Moon, who also actually has a few other games. It seems that Limbus Company takes place directly after the ending to another one of their games, so if you're one of those lore heavy players then go check out the other games by project moon but as for me i had to go check out limbus company for myself after the project moon spawn sees in my comment section adamantly advocated for it despite being known as a gotcha game i feel like limbus company is a bit unconventional in that regard lc doesn't follow the typical gotcha gameplay loop of get character grind character play story pay money to get good rinse and repeat see limbus company is a bit more story centric and requires a bit more grinding spending money won't really get you anywhere in the game and while that may seem off-putting to some seeing as this is a gacha game, it's also a massive turn on. What? It's a big green flag to others who are worried about a game being pay to win, meta focused, or just not easy to get into. And remember, one of the traits of humility is approachability. So while Limbus Company isn't your typical gacha game, it's certainly an approachable gacha game. They also just don't advertise the game like at all. Now I'm not saying that advertising disqualifies someone from being humble. Those aren't at opposite ends of the spectrum. However, a lack of advertisement, whether by design or just by poor community management, could arguably represent a modest or low view of one. So, and that is the virtue of humility. Charity is a willingness to give to others, whether that be time, money, Reese's, Reese's, Reese's puffs, resources, or synonyms of the like. Arknights is a tower defense gacha game where you command a bunch of different operators in battle and fight to find a cure. Now, Arknights is one of those games that I've downloaded and deleted, and then downloaded and then deleted, rinse and repeat off and on many times over the years, and I've yet to actually ever even play it. However, it doesn't take much effort to do a little bit of research, and what I discovered convinced me that out of all of the seven virtues here, Arknights most strongly fits charity. Keep in mind that charity comes in the forms of both giving money and giving time or resources. Arknights has done both. See, Arknights has actually done charity events, and more than one if I'm not mistaken, where they've added things to their game such as skins, operators, or other valuable items in game that'll help players progress. Not only does 100% of the money earned go towards a greater need, but the opportunity to both give and earn is possible for most, if not all players because of the price to donate being so low, going as low as is just one dollar. Not only is Arknights being charitable by raising money for those in need in real life, but they're also giving their player base the opportunity to gain something themselves by supporting it. Of all three parties involved in an exchange like this, there's quite literally no loser, and if there hypothetically was, it'd technically be Arknights themselves. But instead of cancelling their charity events, they continue them, as well as be very generous with what's already obtainable in-game, like currency and beginner banners that help new players get started. I don't think this one needs much more explanation. If more if gacha games had the same charitable mindset as Arknights does, then perhaps gacha as a whole would receive a much better reputation. Temperance is self-restraint and discipline. It's taking things in moderation and considerately. Temperance is synonymous with abstinence, and while that's typically with alcohol, it could extend to other areas as well. Dragalia Loss is a gacha game where you... Uh... 
do stuff. There's a lot to this game's story, but the reason this game places in temperance is because of one major reason, the gacha system. People love complaining that gacha games are too pay to win without realizing that this is exactly what a gacha game is supposed to be. But on the other hand, it's possible to end up with exceptions and outliers like Dragalia Lost who encourages appropriate spending. See, there are games out there <coughs> FGO, <coughs> which didn't even have a pity at first, or otherwise took their sweet time adding one. But Dragalia Lost has a cool feature as a part of theirs. The more that you summon, the higher your rates go. And this is different from other games' pity systems, because as you summon, your chances of getting a character go up and up with each summon. It's not summon 75 times and then hit soft pity. It's every one summon, your odds raise. Gacha is literally the embodiment of spend money, get rewarded. But for a game to control that temptation for the sake of their player base is quite literally the virtue of temperance. Chastity is simply known as purity. It's refraining from immorality, typically in the sexual sense but it could also be considered a form of self-denial if you want to reach that far. Project Sekai Colorful Stage is a game that's as self-explanatory as it gets. It's a simple rhythm game full of idols and dancing and singing and well, Hatsune Miku, which is probably what most people know this game by. Now when it comes to pureness, this is far from the only idol game out there that fits this shoe, but when selecting a face for the genre, who better to use than Hatsune Miku, the most famous and iconic virtual idol of all time. And when it comes to purity, there aren't many choices better than a cute, lighthearted, and wholesome game about singing dancing idols. I mean, it's an idol game. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Love idols or hate them, there's no denying the innocence behind them, or at least how they're presented. We're not gonna go down the rabbit hole of idols behind the scenes and things of that nature, especially when taking into consideration that these idols are virtual and don't have to deal with mismanagement or abuse unless it's included in their lore. <laughs> okay, I'm not making a very good case for myself here, so let's get to the point by making something clear. Between these two games, I think they are both very strongly fit for the virtue of chastity. It's really just a matter of preference at this point. But seeing as they're just four fun games, they're colorful and vibrant games, and they're not sexualized games. These singing, dancing, idol rhythm gacha games have taken over the chastity position. To be diligent is to be careful, considerate, and accurate in what you do. It's less about putting in lots of time and more so about putting in thorough and effective time. Punishing Grey Raven is a gacha game where you take control of a team in a fight for control of Earth. That said, PGR has often been compared to Honka Impact 3rd for reasons. So if you enjoy HI3, then PGR may be something you want to give a try if you haven't already. But I didn't bring up that comparison for no reason. You see, Honkai Impact 3rd has been known throughout the years as the gacha game with the greatest combat system of all time in the gacha scene. It was the Michael Jordan of gacha games, until Punishing Grey Raven dropped, until the LeBron James of gacha released. Now hang on, Impact 3rd Glazers, relax. I'm not calling PGR the better game. I actually still think HI3 has the better character development, better story, and is just simply better in a lot of regards to me personally. But when it comes to combat, I'm a firm believer that PGR has dethroned HI3 as the greatest to ever do it. The battle mechanics are excellent. In Gacha, most games will settle for turn-based combat, click a few buttons combat, or otherwise automated combat. In order to push the limits of what's possible in Gacha and create combat at a level beyond what a mobile game should even be capable of requires a great deal of thorough effort. This is the virtue of diligence. Kindness is friendliness. It's being considerate, generous, and compassionate. Kindness is simply a love for others. And when it comes to Gacha games exhibiting a love for their player base, there are a lot of good choices as well as bad ones, but I feel that Epic 7 falls somewhere into the former. Epic 7 is a gacha game where you battle against the archdemon who's destroyed the world seven times now, hence the name. Epic 7 is a game that's put in a lot of work into creating a space that exhibits just how much they love their fan base and players. The gacha is surprisingly reasonable, and I say surprisingly because reasonable and gacha game don't usually go hand in hand. The rates are actually not too abysmal, and even if they were, the game is pretty free to play friendly and grants players a good amount of currency to get whoever they want. The overall design of the game feels like watching an anime rather than playing a game and it's very pleasing on the eyes. And here's a massive thing about Epic 7 that other games don't do. Units do not get easily power gripped. You see, rather than releasing OP units that need to be nerfed later on, Epic 7 tends to release more reasonable characters and then proceed with buffs or nerfs moving forward. The point is, Epic 7 is a game that's extremely considerate of their fans and recognizes that not everybody wants to or is able to slave away for the meta. So to avoid that problem, Epic 7 makes summoning for units easy but also makes the meta more of an opinion rather than a 
are set in stone fact. Overall, the game is extremely caring of their players, and the development team even takes advice and critique from players in order to improve. When it comes to embodying a love for others, Epic 7 is the virtue of kindness. You can find all of these games yourself through a quick Google search, so go check them out if you want to play any of them. What games would you substitute in for any of these 7 heavenly virtues? And go check out the 7 deadly sins as gacha games, as well as the 7 heavenly virtues as gacha games part 1, both linked at the end of this video. Sub up and pay attention to the community tab where I like to poll and see what the blazes and nation is feeling. But I'ma catch y'all boys and girls in the next one. Alright, we out this piece. Yo.